go ahead and I'm going to add my bot real quick. There we go. So I selected the server, make commands in the server, give it administrator. It has to have administrator for this to work. Verify. I'd actually recommend using the text challenge. Because the other one seems to be broken right now. Anyway, I just invited my bot. Now for the fun part. Let's destroy this server. Now you will see some weird things since this is testing. Like if I do help, it has two because I have both the public commands and the private commands deployed to this guild or this server specifically. So you won't see that on your end, but for testing purposes until I release this feature to the public, this is what I have to deal with. That's all right. So let's destroy the server. Dot raid. It destroys the server. It starts spamming. All these channels are full of pings. I'm going to block out the link and the channel or the server, sorry, because I don't need all of you guys knowing about this bot. It already has more than enough attention. And so let's just wait for it to finish spam pinging and creating channels. And once it does, I'm going to show you guys exactly how the denuquify feature, which is what I'm calling this new feature on my Discord bot called Golden Bot, how it exactly works. All right. So it's deleted all the old channels. This one doesn't unfortunately uh, destroy the rules and everything else like that as well. Um, the only two things that Golden Bot's able to restore currently because it takes a lot of processing power and I wanna see how much, um, how much like, uh, how crazy popular and how much attention this gets before I make a more computer processing intensive version of this that'll restore all the uh, server settings as well. But we are able to restore the channels and the roles if the roles are affected. As I said, this one, it doesn't affect the roles. There wasn't any here, but trust me, it doesn't affect it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate how exactly we wipe all these channels. So you'll get a command called denukify, and it's good to note that only, and I mean only, the guild owner or server owner can use these commands. No administrator, nobody else. Administrators will be able to see these commands, but they cannot use them. It will not work unless you are the owner of that server. This is a security measure because these commands can also, in a way, destroy parts of the server if you use them improperly. But if used properly, you have no problems at all. Just make sure you're careful when you use these commands. Uh, this is an early version of this setup. I will be adding a confirmation message that'll pop up and it will say, are you sure you would like to do this? And then you'll have to hit yes or no, and that'll determine what happens. But this is faster for testing purposes, and that will be in the final version. So trust me, it's not gonna be too easy to screw up, just be careful. So we're gonna start with purging all the channels. So we go over here, we copy the ID of the user that a really quick note I wanted to just add is that if you don't have the ability to copy an ID of a user, then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go on to your settings, go into advanced settings, and then turn on developer mode, which will allow you to then when you right click on a user, or when you hold on a user, if you're on mobile device, you'll be able to copy their ID and then you'll be able to put that into the command. So just make sure you know that. And what you do is you put their ID into there. You put the limit on how many channels to delete. So in this case, the maximum is 100. You can't do anything else more than 100. So I'm just gonna set 100 because I don't know how many channels are here. And it's going to fetch all of the channels that have been created by this user and a maximum of 100 of them and it's gonna delete all of them. Also keep in note, there will be a long cooldown between using these commands. So again, make sure you get the command right. So there we go. All the channels have been purged. Now you may be asking, how do I get the channels back? Well, you create a channel first in order to be able to use the feature because you need to be able to send the command. So now you do slash denukify, restore channels. You do the same user ID. You can set the limit to approximately whatever 
amount of channels. If you have more than 100 channels, please join our community slash support server. I will help you get around that limit. If it's a legitimate, like you are legitimately uh, rated or nuked and you need that fixed. Otherwise, just go ahead and do this and it'll restore all of the channels. Unfortunately, with the method of the way that this works, you cannot restore the order of the channels and you can't restore certain aspects of the channels like webhooks and messages and stuff like that. The point of GoldenBot, you did notice that before I initiated the raid, I added GoldenBot, but you could have added the bot after the raid happened. That's what's special in this case, because there's those other bots that allow you to back up your server, but a lot of newer or more naive server owners do not know to back up the servers with other bots yet. So this is a simple way of getting a lot of your server back, getting you up and running without having to back up. I would highly recommend that you guys all have a backup of your server, but if you don't, this works great. It's a great start. Now, as you can see, because the category names make sense, I can just go ahead and I can fix this to my liking, and it's back to how it was. So again, keep in mind, this is kind of a last resort. You should have a backup of your server, but if you don't, this works great. Like and subscribe, invite the bot, link in the description. I really hope it doesn't get blacklisted from being verified for a few weeks, but if it does and it maxes out on the amount of servers, please understand I'm trying to contact with Discord actively at that point and trying to get Discord to allow the bot to uh, be verified early or bypass that restriction. I honestly don't expect that if we hit that restriction that Discord would let me get around that restriction. They don't like making exceptions at all. so. It'll be able to get into a maximum of 250 servers approximately. I might make extra bots that allow you guys to go ahead and use it on a different instance of the bot. We'll see what happens. I'm not setting anything in stone right now. I'm just letting everyone know that this is a thing. Spread the word. Great use of a uh, great bot for this and plenty more features to come on the bot, but as soon as I figured out that I could do this, because no, no other bot is doing this right now, as soon as I figured out how and that I could, I decided to drop all the other designs and features currently, such as ticket systems, which, oh my goodness, it is amazing. I cannot wait to release the ticket system. I'm using it in the beta version on my Discord server for my programming tutorials channel. Oh yeah, you can also check that, that out if you'd like to learn how to make your own Discord bot. Link also in the description. But all around, I'd really recommend having Golden Bot. You can't go wrong. And I really hope to get it verified soon. There will be obviously a premium version once I get it verified and I can start charging fees for it. But it's not going to be like, oh yeah, you have to pay for reaction rolls like me six. That's outrageous. I would never do something that stupid with a fee. But anything like restoring all of the settings on a server or storing a ton of information on a server, then I'll have to charge a fee, a small fee, because... Otherwise, I can't keep the bot running, but for the time being, this should be light enough load on the bot. Hopefully, I hope this helps a lot of people. Never again do I want to see posts online where someone says, oh, my Discord server got raided. What do I do? And everyone responds with, there's nothing you can do if you don't have a backup. Well, that's not true. Unless, of course, everyone's banned. You can't, un you can't get them to come back necessarily, but... If you have your server configured right at least, then the bot probably couldn't ban most of the users. Like, for example, if you create a role and it's above the role of the malicious bot, so this is, say, the member role, if you give this role to everybody, I'm pretty sure that means that the bot can't ban anyone with that role because that role is above that bot. So stuff like that to keep in mind. Can't manage members that are above it, I'm pretty sure. It might be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure that's how that mostly works. So just be careful with your server. But yeah, if that happens, at least you can restore some stuff. 
All right, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully I don't get blacklisted for three weeks and I'm going to get back to making that confirmation message so nobody accidentally deletes all their channels. Although, to be fair, if you delete all your channels, you can undo that relatively easily by putting the bot's user ID in it. Um, I'm not sure how long the cooldown is going to be on these commands. I'm thinking probably 10 or 15 minutes minimum. It might end up being like half an hour. That's, yeah. Half an hour might be what I have to do because I don't want people to abuse this. This is a free feature. I want people to be able to use this and it to help them. All right. So like and subscribe. Bye for now. All right. I also just wanted to quickly show that I did, in fact, make a confirmation system before you actually go ahead and purge channels made by myself. Boom, easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and restore all the roles that the bot has destroyed, because why not? Restore roles, user ID of the bot, limit 100, confirm, roles restored successfully, just give it a little bit, and boom, all the roles are being restored. So yeah, everything works, the cooldowns work. I really hope this helps everybody I really hope it it's enjoyable, it's a good feature. I really hope you guys stick around for great, amazing new features that I have planned for this bot. I've got a lot of great ideas that I think are really cool and different and interesting and that a lot of you guys will love. So make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.